So um, Extreme H is an evolution of our previous race car, which is Extreme E. So we're an off-road racing championship. It's short format. And the key thing about Extreme H is it's the world's first hydrogen powered race car. So we want to push on for the next, the next energy source, the next, the next level of technology. And we, we thought that hydrogen was the right way to go. So we've developed, a, we've developed an, a, an all new car. Um, it looks similar to our, uh, the previous Extreme E car, but actually it's very, very removed uh, suspension geometries and so on. And all those great lessons we learned in, in Extreme E have been carried over to Extreme H. What we've got with uh, our hydrogen car is we've got onboard tanks like you would associate with a, with a gas car. Um, but we've got a hydrogen fuel cell that converts that hydrogen into electricity and water vapour. That electricity powers uh, our onboard battery that's provided by Fortescue. Um, and that, that electricity from the battery powers the front and rear electric motors. Yeah, I mean, in, in terms of driving the car, it's not so big difference for the driver itself if it's hydrogen or electric, because basically it's, we drive from the battery and the hydrogen is charging the battery. So the biggest difference is the weight of the car. It's a lot heavier. It's uh, between five, 600 kilo heavier. Uh, so that takes a little bit of different driving style in terms of that you have to brake a little bit earlier, but also the car is a little bit more agile and a little bit differently engineered, which means that the car actually is quite sophisticated on setups. So when you do setup changes, the car is reacting a bit more, is my feeling, compared to the old car. So I think you can tweak this car quite a lot more and set up work together with the drivers and the team will have be more effective on the new car compared to the old car. I would say I'm not used to driving this car yet because it's been quite limited when it comes to the testing. Um, and also we did have some technical issues in the beginning and that's always one thing. I remember the first time of Extreme E there was also some technical issues because in the end it's brand new cars and you'll have these child diseases that you need to get away. So, uh, But then in the end we got the car running and uh, we, we had a good feeling. There's still work to do before we're there and that's always the thing also I think about always trying to improve the car and the settings and those things uh, but I would say like now we, we we feel good and feel confident would love to have some more driving though so in this car like you say we're sitting in the middle uh, which is a little bit different than compared to what we had before in the Extreme E and also me doing some uh, circuit racing and also rallycross uh, you are placed different in the car and this is something to get used to uh, like today we had this challenge with some chevrons and yeah it, it takes a while before you really feel comfortable with sitting in the middle of the car and really knowing all the corners but I guess that's also the thing with a new car no matter what you do uh, that it does take time for you to know exactly how everything works and ev where everything is before you feel fe really really synchronized with the car. 